The, the river in itself is a force. It's, it's a beautiful force of nature. There's a lot going on inside it and around it. And as you discover the different layers of the river, you become more and more excited. Of course, the most immediate one is that it gives sustenance to people, but it gives sustenance to nature. It is an enormous source of biodiversity. I don't know, I can't be poetic enough. And I'm not a poet, I'm a cook. But all I can say to you is that you feel with a sense of satisfaction when you engage in uh, the contemplation of the river. When we talk about the Murray, we're talking about the Dali, we're talking about the Bee Gee, we're talking about Lachlan, we're talking about the Goldwood. The Murray is the lifeblood of, of, of Sunraysia. There isn't any doubt about that whatsoever. I mean, uh, when the drought started to kick in, you had all of a sudden, whoops, no lawns, uh, whoops, no gardens. So you had people, uh, old people, almost people my age, uh, were going out bucketing water to their, uh, to their garden. The Murray's always been a really good resource of water, which makes the land around it quite fertile. Um, so farmers are drawn to that permanent water source um, and they begin to start channelling that water source for their own needs. But of course it's okay when a few people do it, but when, a, when an agricultural biz, um, sort of industry builds up over a long period of time, you get more and more people taking their little share, which means that there's really nothing left for the river system. And particularly once you get further downstream, which is where um, the real um, trauma to this system is happening, then you've got no water left at that point. And of course, because people have a voice, we're the ones that are able to say, um, no, I want my share of water, I need my share of water, where the environment is not able to do that. And it's not until people recognise the damage that's occurring and actually become the voice of the environment that we can see some kind of change happening. The Just Add Water campaign has been about giving ordinary Australians the chance to chip in a few dollars to help ACF buy water back for internationally significant wetlands like Hadar Lakes National Park. I felt I wanted to get involved with the Just Add Water campaign because I felt that um, finally I'd been given an opportunity to really feel like I could personally make a difference. Um, all of a sudden there was kind of this community collective saying we actually want change, the community's been shouting for change, the government's not listing, so let's just do it anyway. I've been a member of ACF for a long time. In this case I think I got a, a letter from ACF about the Just Add Water campaign and uh, it just struck a chord with me as something practical I could do. Um, I don't have a lot of time necessarily to work on campaigns but I am fortunate enough to have uh, the ability to do something like help buy some water. The Murray is really important and all of the communities that exist on the Murray and all the farms that depend on the water coming from the Murray know how important it is and they have been um, fighting for their rights to the water to be upheld because they know how vital that water is to their existence. I guess what we haven't heard so much about is that the environment is also absolutely dependent on that water and until recently that voice really hasn't been heard and I guess the Just Add Water campaign is all about adding a voice to the Murray's ecosystem to ensure that that voice is being taken into account and that water is being returned to this ecosystem because in the end we're all going to lose if this um, system collapses. So probably 14, 15 years since this lake's received uh, water. We're hoping once we fill Lake Mournpool uh, that we can spill over uh, into this lake, Lake Galwell, and, uh, and fill, fill this lake. Uh, hopefully we can get the water out to the edge of the lake and, and get to the, the foot of the red gums and give the red gums a drink. We understand that if the world, the environment isn't working, ultimately we're not going to work. Just imagine this landscape without the rivers. And if we do not look after them, they might be reduced to, to a trickle or to nothing or to a series of polluted ponds. The success has been overwhelming. We've doubled the amount of water that we can get back into this wetland system. And we've sent a really strong message to Senator Penny Wong and to other Australian politicians that they want, people want to see action to fix the Murray River system. 
We just want to see more water added. We want to just add water to the rest of the Murray-Darling Basin.